We are heading in towards the mid-season for skiers and snowboarders, hanging out with Phil Lake at Skis and Bikes. Phil, you're a ski tech here, and you're going to show me how to wax my own skis at home. Yep. Is it hard? Pretty easy to do. Now, for the most part, you know, if people need their bases ground or edges done, obviously they can bring them into one of the many shops here in Whistler. Um, but just keeping the bases healthy is easy to do, maybe every week or every other week at home. Yeah, we recommend around once a week to have your bases waxed. Okay, so how do we do it? So, start off with having your ski bases around a room temperature um, warmth before you start putting wax on them. Um, let your iron warm up to a hot temperature and then just do a quick, of the length of the ski, a drip line of wax down. One nice long drip line. Now you're using a red wax right now, but yep. obviously there's so many different colors and kinds. Yep. Anything you recommend? Right now depends on the brand you use, but because it's such warm temperatures, a yellow wax okay. is pretty good to go with. Sounds good. So we've dripped our wax here on the ski, now what? Now just start from your tip and always keep your wax iron moving and just spread the wax out throughout the ski. Just going back and forth. So the wax just spreads throughout the ski like a liquid and it's just soaking into the base right now? Yep. And you're using a professional ski wax iron. Uh, you can obviously buy those at most ski stores. You could technically use an old iron, right? You could. <laughs> <laughs> it's you just could. hard with a clothing iron to monitor the temperature. Right, so we want to keep our iron at a certain temperature. Yep. And that is? Around 250 degrees. So you're making this look pretty easy. You are a ski tech, but could someone do this at home? Oh yeah, it's very easy to do. So how do we know that this is done? You did that pretty quickly. You'll see that the wax starts to seep into the base quite nicely. And as soon as the length of the ski is like that, you are finished waxing as far as that goes. Once that's done, just let it sit for around 20 minutes till it gets back to room temperature. And then they're good to scrape. Once they're cooled down to room temperature, have a nice sharp scraper and just start scraping it from tip to tail, removing all the wax. You're just basically peeling off excess wax that didn't seep into the base of the ski. Yep. Just want to get as much as you can off the ski. Why is it important to remove that wax once you put it on? Because it's the actual chemicals in the wax that create your ski to glide creates a, uh, like a hydroplane by melting the snow and uh, your bases will plane over the water. So once you've scraped the ski, are we done? Nope, after you're done scraping, you'll grab like a nylon brush. Okay. And from tip to tail again, you'll just scrape and that'll get out all that excess wax out of the pores of the ski. Okay. So you're almost making tiny, 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 minuscule little grooves in the ski now with your brush. Yep. And what's that doing? It's uh, almost, it's giving the base of the ski a little bit of a structure just to help with uh, creating that glide against the snow. Why do this? You told us earlier, once a week, why wax your skis? Why keep your bases healthy, basically? Um, waxing your skis is like hydrating the base almost, so it stops the bases from drying out. And a lot of people have issues with their skis sticking to the snow in different temperatures. And by waxing it and hydrating the base, you're keeping a healthy base. Sounds great. Just like our skin, you want to yeah. keep the base of your ski nice and healthy so you can enjoy a nice long winter. Yeah. Thanks, Phil. You're welcome.